I've started what will be a definitely a two night, but probably a three night outing in Yellowstone National Park. And I'm basically going to be circling around Shoshone Lake. Um, <clears throat> I started from the Lone Star Trailhead. And this is really, as you can see behind me, this beginning part of this trail is really just a road. And, but it skirts alongside the, pretty sure it's the Firehole River, the beginnings of it. Very beautiful little stream here. It'll end up going past Old Faithful picking up all that water from all those different geyser basins and then end up meandering out the west side of the park. So this will take me up to the Lone Star geyser, which I might see today, but we'll see the last day for sure. And it'll take me down past the Shoshone geyser basin. This trail right here is very, very easy. Other than that, already it's a beautiful time in Yellowstone National Park. That was the Lone Star geyser. It was going off just as I got up to the geyser. It does, um, it does some minor eruptions and then a, a major eruption, but it's about three hours between major eruptions. So I waited around for about 40 minutes to see if it was gonna do anything again. And it just went very, to a, just a little bit of steam coming out of it. So I will pass this again on my way out. And at that time, I'll have a real short walk back out to the car. So I'll wait around for it and see if I can't catch the big major eruption from the start to finish. But for now, it took me a little rest, a little snack, some water. So now I'm back on hiking. And now I'm on a trail rather than a road. So. Here we go to the first campsite down by Shoshone Lake.
here's my bridge to cross this river. This is an easy one. This is easy. I read a trail review before I came and said this section between my camp and the geyser basin was a lousy trail through this swamp grass mud. But it is an incredible view out that way and the trail is right there. So it's not like I'm lost and off trail. This is the actual trail. It's pretty gross. So all that marshy stuff that I walked through earlier, there actually is an alternate way to go around that, and that's what I had planned to do. But when I got to where the turnoff was for that other route, there, there was no sign, and it was it was hard to do. It's hard to even see that there's a trail on the other side of a river that I had to cross. It would have been a little bit longer, but it's supposed to be used for people on horseback. And it wouldn't have gone through that geyser basin. And that actually was my original plan to go around all that swamp and then pick it up on the third day when I come around on that north side, I would then see the geyser basin and then on out to towards Lone Star. But uh, the trail wasn't real visible and uh, I went right on past it and saw the geyser basin. So had to had to wade through some grassy, marshy, mud yuck. But all in all, it wasn't that bad. It is, uh, it's October the 3rd right now, today. And tonight the temperatures are supposed to get freezing or below so I really didn't want to get my shoes socks wet because now I'm going to put them in a bag put them in my sleeping bag keep them from freezing I didn't want to have to do that but uh, I found the little lay down pad for tents it is not flat it's not very big but it will do This is Shoshone Lake. Tomorrow I will hike all the way around and be camping somewhere way off in the distance over there. And then the third day, hike the other side of the lake and back around to a campsite that's really close to Lone Star Geyser and possibly hike on out to the car that night rather than staying. Good morning. This is the second morning of the hike. Uh, it's very frosted over, very foggy. It's gonna be a good day. No chance of rain by most forecasts. And I have about 14 miles, mostly through the trees walk today. 
<clears throat> but uh, here we go on day two. This has pretty much been this trail so far. Foggy, pine trees, and foggy. <laughs> and just a little bit cold. So just a little bit ago, I scared up a, a big bunch of elk. And I've got no idea how many there were. But the closest one to me was probably just off in the trees, about 25, 30 yards. And when they ran, I don't know how many there were, but when they ran, it sounded like thunder as they took off and went down the hill. Pretty neat. Got my heart racing just a little bit. I've stopped here for a short break and there's a elk bugling. Another river crossing, and this one's a pretty wide one. Ooh, getting deep. So far, this beach walk has been the hardest part of the day. And I've still got about a mile and a half walking in this loose gravel. It's supposed to wear me out. So I'm on my I'm on my final stretch now. My campsite should be just uh, along this bank back in here somewhere. Um, it's coming up. Day's just about over. It's almost time to lay down and relax for a minute. It's been a pretty good day. Haven't seen another person all day. It's been a little bit of a mind battle. Because that first, that first half of the trail, it's all the same thing, without very many views at all. Second half of the trail, started off with gravel and it went, went quite a ways, but not as far as I thought it was going to. It cut back up into the trees. But now I've got this, oh, I don't know what that ends up being, another, another half mile, three quarter mile maybe. But I'm, a late, I'm able to walk on this ridge of wet sand. It makes for actually the easiest walk in here. You get up in the, you get up in that sand back up in there, and it's just all loose, and you, you don't get anywhere. Another three-quarter mile, maybe. Be time to set up tent, and relax.
not a bad view from the campsite. Pretty nice view when I get up in the morning. Should, uh, I don't know if I'll make it up for sunrise, but should be able to see, if it's not foggy again, should be able to see the sun coming up over those mountains and be really pretty. But I'm here and this is my campsite. Six miles to the geyser, 6.3 miles, and another two and a half after that to the car. That trail junction back there was where on the first day I turned and I went through the geyser basin. Originally that was my plan to do today, but since I did it the first day, all this trail here is repeat of the first day from here back to the car. And because I already did the geyser basin, um, I'll probably get there in enough time. I should be able to wait around and see Lone Star erupt and then make it to my car at a decent time. I'm probably headed to the car. Um, but I kind of figured that when I left the car and then when I definitely, when I went through that geyser basin on the first day, I figured that would probably be the, the case. So I got 6.2 miles get the Lone Star Geyser.